Today we'll be sewing up the zip up hoodie from Gus and Steel Patterns. This is the perfect gender neutral zippered hoodie. I'd recommend a nice French terry or a stretch sweatshirt fleece. You'll also need a separating zipper. You can check the zipper length chart provided in the sew guide. Keep in mind your zipper can be longer than what's called for. I'll be showing you how to shorten a zipper in this sew along. You'll need a front, left, and right bodice and a back bodice. You'll need a waistband, and I'm going to install the optional neck tape today, a separating zipper, two hood pieces cut opposite, the two pieces of the Kanga pocket cut opposite, which is also optional, then two sleeves and two cuffs. First, we're gonna sew our hood together. Lay your two hood pieces down with right sides together and serge around the curve. Now create the hood's hem by folding back the edge a half inch and using a narrow cover stitch or twin needle to sew the hem down. Now the hood is hemmed. Let's work on the pockets. First, fold the pocket opening hems down towards the wrong side. You won't need to measure as you'll just be folding them right at the right angle created by the hem allowance. Then use your narrow cover stitch or twin needle to hem. Now we'll press the top hems of the pocket. You want to press them pretty well to help you line up your pockets on the bodice. Remember, do not sew them down, we're just pressing. Now that the top hems are pressed, we can press the side hems. Since we'll only be top stitching these down to the bodice, I like to use a washable glue stick to press them down to the wrong side of the pocket. That helps them not shift while sewing. Now the pockets are all set up, so we're going to attach them to the bodice. It's really important to get them lined up correctly, so don't worry if you have to work and rework until you get them just right. I like to start by clipping the pockets to the bottom of the bodice at the center front. Make sure the tops of the pockets are perfectly lined up. Then I pin through the fold at the bodice so that I can flip the pocket up on the pin and it works kind of like a hinge. Then I add a few more pins right on the fold line. I do that for both pockets. Then I flip the pockets down again to make sure they're all perfectly lined up. If they're not, I rework them until they're perfect. Once you have them just right, take them to your sewing machine and I like to use a triple stitch, but a straight stitch will work. Just sew right across the fold of the pocket's top hem allowance. Now your pockets are attached. We just need to sew down the sides. I like to clip them at the bottom, again, making sure everything lines up. Thank you. 
using a narrow cover stitch or twin needle again, sew from the bottom of the bodice just inside the edge of the pocket. When I use a cover stitch, I usually use a scrap of fabric to get started. That way I don't have any skip stitches right at the beginning. So if you did that, just cut those scraps off and then double knot the other end of the threads to make sure they're secure. We're almost done with the pockets. Just to make sure they're nice and secure, we'll add a bar tack just at the opening of each of the sides of the pockets. The pockets are completely done now. Let's attach the fronts to the back bodice. You're just gonna put right sides together and sew the shoulder seams and the side seams since we'll be attaching the sleeves in the round. Now the bodice is all put together. Let's work on the sleeves. Fold each of the sleeves in half with right sides together and sew up the side. Go ahead and turn your sleeves right side out. Lay your bodice down inside out. We're going to insert the sleeves into the bodice. We're going to line up the sleeve caps, making sure that we match up the notches to the shoulder seams and the sleeve seam with the side seam. I'll add a few clips around each sleeve. You can add as many as you like. Now just sew all the way around the sleeve caps. Now our sleeves are attached and it's all coming together. Let's make the cuffs. Just fold the cuffs in half with the grain and sew up the edge. We'll fold our cuffs in half so the wrong sides are together. Now we'll insert the cuffs into the sleeves, lining up the cuff seams with the sleeve seams. Clip as much as you need to to make sure that when you sew, 
you catch all three layers all the way around the sleeve openings. Let's add the waistband. I like to do all this from the back with the bodice laid out flat. Go ahead and fold the waistband in half with wrong sides together. And then match the short ends to the center fronts of the bodice. You'll match the notches with the side seams. And you'll need to stretch a little bit as you go. as many clips as you need to, stretching in between the clips to add more. Remember, you're going to be sewing through four layers of fabrics in some places, so go as slow as you need to and readjust as needed. Now for the zipper. Make sure you're using a separating zipper. I know zippers can be intimidating, but once you figure them out, you'll love doing them. So you're going to start by laying the zipper on one side of the bodice with right sides together. So that means your zipper pull will be underneath the zipper tape when you lay it down. Carefully line up the edge of the zipper tape with the raw edge of the center front of your bodice. You'll want to start at the bottom and make sure the zipper is lined up exactly at the edge of the bottom of the waistband. If your zipper is too long like mine, we'll just be ignoring that extra length for a while. Get that all clipped on and then, using your zipper foot and a straight stitch, sew the length of the front bodice from the bottom of the waistband to the neckline, making sure to back stitch a few times on either end. If your fabric is stretching while you're sewing on the zipper, try using some washable glue stick to glue the zipper tape to the fabric. It's a great way to hold everything in place. Now we'll attach the second side of the zipper. For this, I like to turn the hoodie inside out. We're going to match the other edge of the zipper to the other raw edge of the bodice front. You'll know you have it right if you again have the zipper pull against the right side of the front bodice. Clip the zipper to the bodice just like you did before. Feel free to use that washable glue stick again if you need to. This time we need to make extra certain that everything lines up perfectly. Double check that the waistband, necklines, and the top of the pockets all line up. I like to turn the hoodie carefully right side out to make sure that they do. Then turn it inside out again to sew the second side of the zipper with a straight stitch and a zipper foot.
Here we go. The zipper is installed and everything lines up. If it doesn't, it's totally okay to unpick and try again. Now let's shorten the zipper. Make sure you push the zipper slide to the bottom of the hoodie. You don't want to cut it off with the excess zipper. You can put it back on, but it usually takes some time. Once your zipper is out of the way, you'll need to cut the zipper tape right at the edge of the neckline. Just clip in between the teeth on both sides. Now we need to remove a few teeth. If you're using a plastic zipper, you can use some needle nose pliers. And I actually found these cheap flat ones that work really well. If you're working with a metal zipper, you'll probably need some small wire cutters. Removing the teeth is usually pretty easy. You'll just pry the plastic ones off. The metal ones, you'll probably need to cut the teeth off as close to the zipper teeth as you can. There's no right or wrong way to do this and every zipper can be a little bit different, but you'll just want to work slowly and carefully as you pry the teeth off without cutting the zipper tape. You'll need to remove approximately 3 8 inch of teeth, which is usually two or three teeth depending on your zipper. Once you get those teeth removed, be careful your zipper doesn't slide right off. I'll give you a minute to shorten your zipper, then we'll finish up. Now lay your hood out with the right side up. And lay your hood down with the right side down. You're going to clip to the neckline, matching up the hood seam with the center back and making sure that the zipper teeth are facing outward, away from the bodice. Clip as much as you need to to line up the raw edges and then we'll add the neck tape. Place the neck tape with the right side against the wrong side of the hood and line up the edge against the edge of the hood and bodice, adding it to the clips. You'll have a bit of overlap on each side, just make sure you have at least a half inch on both sides to work with. We'll trim that off in a minute. You can use a serger here, but I prefer to use a straight stitch to reduce bulk. And also, I find it easier to avoid the zipper teeth on either end. If you used a straight stitch, you'll need to trim down your seam allowance to a quarter inch now. I didn't show this step, but just take some good scissors and trim it down carefully. You'll also need to trim the extra neck tape. Just fold the tape over the edge of the zipper and trim it to size to match the inner edge of the zipper tape on both sides. Next, we'll fold the neck tape over the seam allowance and then fold the extra half inch or so that extends past the zipper teeth in on itself. Clip that in place and do the same on the other side. Now you're going to wrap the neck tape binding underneath the seam and pin it against the bodice. Do this all the way across the seam. When we're done here, 
we're going to take this to the sewing machine and working from the wrong side, we're going to sew a straight stitch just inside the edge of the neck tape all the way across from zipper to zipper. If your neck tape is a different color than your main fabric, you may want to thread your needle with a thread to match your neck tape and the bobbin to match your main fabric. Now check to be sure that everything is nicely lined up and that your zipper stops at the top. If it isn't quite lined up, your zipper may slide right off the top. If you're happy with it otherwise, but would like to avoid losing your zipper pull, you can quickly add a quick whip stitch right at the last of your zipper teeth, and that should help to stop the zipper from going too far. The last step is to top stitch the zipper from the waistband to the neckline. I like to use my zipper hook for this too, so that I can make sure that my stitching is equidistant from my zipper on both sides. And you're done!